Colombia's FARC rebels are now a political party, but the country's peace process is ongoing with hundreds of former FARC rebels awaiting trial. According to analyst Ariel Avila, some of them could hold public office even after they've been pardoned. If a guerrilla becomes a congressman and after a year he's convicted, then he will still be able to stay in politics, provided he tells the truth, asks for forgiveness, makes reparations and gives assurances he will not reoffend. Alongside political concerns, there's also been a worrying increase in the murder of former FARC rebel leaders. Colombia has a big problem. We have a very big fight on our hands for land, truth and politics. There are people in the regions, regional elites, that benefited from this conflict and that are willing to kill anyone in order to keep the status quo. That is why some people don't want the peace process to work. Rebels and some of their relatives have also been killed, leading to calls by FARC for government protection. We believe that if the government is honest and truly committed to the peace process, then one of their first objectives must be to dismantle the country's paramilitary system. Despite the problems, former rebels are optimistic about their future, however uncertain. FARC is now entering a difficult phase. It must work out how to sell itself as a political party after 53 years of war and thousands of deaths. They will tone down their spoken words, although they're not prepared to give up their revolutionary ideals.